everyone. I thought it would be um, kind of cool to create a A to Z of psychology. Um, it's only fitting because it rhymes and everything that rhymes is good. Um, so basically what I'll be doing over the next 26 videos is explaining a psychological concept or theory um, beginning with whatever letter I'm up to. So today, it being the beginning, and the beginning of the alphabet is A, um, I will be discussing attentional bias. Now, let me start with something that you might hear quite a few religious people say. Um, they'll say, oh, I went to church and I prayed and I prayed and I was thinking about Jesus and thinking about God. And then on the way home, I saw all these signs. I saw Jesus' face in the clouds. I saw signs that just reminded me of Jesus and God. I saw crosses. I, I, felt, I felt like Jesus was sending me a sign. Now, are these people crazy? No. As much as we'd like to think they are, they are perfectly human and they are experiencing something called attentional bias in which when you have thought about something for a while or something is very relevant to you, you will actually seek out those experiences or those sights or sounds or smells or, um, and it will become relevant to you as you are biased towards paying attention to those details. I was recently part of a study conducted at my university looking at attentional bias. Um, I was to fill out a form um, saying how much pain I usually experience and I put down yeah a bit of back pain, bit of this, bit of that and straight after that I was asked to complete a dot probe task which is basically um, remembering uh, words that flash up really quickly on the screen and pressing a certain button corresponding with uh, where that word was. Now um, I was unaware um, that the experiment was looking at attentional bias to pain because it was hidden to me so that I wouldn't actively seek out those words which would jeopardize the um, significance and results of the experiment. So the test was looking to see if people with high levels of pain noticed pain related words more and it, the hypothesis was correct. Um, people who experience more pain uh, tend to A, think about it more, and then B, see and hear and experience all these pain-related things like imagery, sounds, uh, feelings. So that's just a small example of uh, the attentional bias. Now, as I just did, this can be explained in a non-religious way, but I am more so focusing on that whole signs from heaven and signs from God. They're not signs from heaven and they're not signs from God. They're your brain seeking out relevant aspects in your life to make more sense to you and to feed into what you are biased towards at that time. So when you see Jesus on a piece of toast or uh, Mary in a bit of wood, um, they're not really there. That is your brain being biased towards seeking out figures that mean something to you and it is also your brain um, seeking out faces which is very important to human brains. Um, years and years of evolution has taught us to seek out faces if we can uh, amongst the bushes or desert or where, where, wherever we were living, um, it was very important to be able to make out faces in that um, kind of vast area. And so that has stayed with us um, till now and that's why you can sometimes see faces in clouds or faces in your burnt toast or something like that. It isn't a sign, uh, it's just your brain. I've added some links uh, down below in the description box um, if you want to look more into this attentional bias. I found it fascinating that um, there is something um, subconscious going on in my own brain where I seek out things that are relevant to me and everyone does it. Uh, it just so happens that a lot of people who are religious and then seek out religious things add more meaning to um, what they've found and um, the fact that uh, they're Jesus in toast um, is a sign. Um, on a side note, if I was Jesus, I wouldn't come back in toast. 
I'd maybe come back in a giant thunderstorm or have the sea rearrange into my face. But toast? Come on, Jesus, you, 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 you can do better than that. So I'm hoping with this psychology from A to Z, um, you will at least maybe learn something every couple of letters if you didn't already know about this certain concept or theory. Um, as for me, I am biased uh, towards psychology, so um, I think it's fascinating. So um, yeah, if you have any uh, suggestions as to what I can do for B, C, D or so on, um, give me a yell or on Twitter at fearblandness. I uh, hope you enjoyed this and I hope you see more Jesus in Toast because it's pretty funny. Thanks guys.